How's it hanging, super friends? Today I'm gonna to be reviewing this Zero Year Survival Suit Batman based off the artwork of Greg Capullo. This is a figure that I've been waiting to pick up but haven't picked up yet because I've been like, yeah, bro, really? I'm kind of like a definitive look sort of guy and Batman with the backpack and looking like this is not for me a definitive look for him, but he's just so cool looking that I finally bit the bullet and bought him. I was gonna say bit him, I didn't bite him. Well, I was going to put on the spinny thing, but listen to that. It's rattling. Stop it! Oi! My kids, they turn this thing on when I'm not looking, and it just stays on for like two days. It was fun having this spinny thing while it lasted. You know what? Screw it. I'm using it anyway. So the packaging for this Batman figure is pretty much the same as the rest of the white window box figures in the Greg Capullo line. You have the artwork on the side of the box, you got the single color, you got the white and the single color motif as always on the back of the package as it does the spinneroo. You can see other action figures that are also from the Greg Capullo line. Got it, got it, don't have it, and this is the one we're reviewing today. Now today's unboxing is brought to you by the letter S for sharp razor and D for don't cut your fingers off. Uh, cutty, cutty, cutty. Oh! I'm kidding. I didn't actually cut myself. If I did, I wouldn't show that on camera. Alright, open up. Out you come, buddy. Oh! And here's what you get. The back of the packaging shows other figures you can get in the wave, which we saw in the... Never mind, you don't need to see this. Out you come, bro. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh sure, always something hanging on. And here he is, Backpacker Batman in all of his glory. Let's do a couple head to toe shots, front and back first. Cue the sassy funk music. Let's also give him a nice spin on the turnaround, shall we? Just so you can also get that complete 360 look for the figure. Alright, now clue the sassy music. So as far as the details of this Batman figure that draw your eye in and make him an incredibly pleasing figure to just look at and want to pick up and fiddle with, this Batman figure has a whole lot to offer. For one, he's got my absolute favorite Greg Capullo Batman head sculpt. Then if we look at his torso with the backpack straps going over his shoulders and the green strap across his chest, there's a whole lot to look at there. I especially like the brown wash they've put over top of everything. I think that really adds to the overall look. Just as with the backpack, an incredibly wonderfully detailed piece on his back there, along with the crossbow sticking out the top, and that brown wash really makes it look like he's just out there and dirty. Then there's the whole waist area with the utility belt, and there's a whole lot going on here to draw your eye in. There's not one, not two, not three, but four colors just on the belt alone. But then when you add in the fact that they've got that attractive silver clasp on his climbing rope, not to mention the fact they've included a real, actual string rope, that's a nice touch if you ask me, this Batman figure is chock full of the right details. Here's a look at his lower half where we can see some of that there mud paint detail to make it look like he's all dirty and stuff. And we also have that left leg knife in the scabbard, which is removable by the way, I'll show you that in a second. And here's the knife itself out of the scabbard. Pretty cool. Now not only is the knife a usable accessory, but so is the rope. The rope itself actually comes right off of his belt there, just like that. And if you so choose to, you can actually unwind that and use that for posability and for action figure photography. So that's another really cool additive to this figure. However, if I could make one change to this figure, one thing that I would do differently so far, before I get into the articulation, is that yes, the crossbow itself is cool that they've actually included an actual string across the top there. However, it would have been really, really nice if the crossbow itself was removable from his backpack and it as well was a usable accessory. But as you can see, this thing is firm and it ain't coming out of nothing. 
So our articulation for this bad boy is as follows. As is typical of DC Collectibles action figures, his head is on a ball joint. It's a fairly limited movement range, but it is what it is. His shoulders are on a hinge swivel, and that's about what they can do up, down, and all around. This Batman also has bicep swivel and can rotate 360 degrees. Both of his elbows are single jointed with a fairly limited range of motion. And he also has articulation in both of his wrists by way of a hinge swivel. This Batman has ab articulation, although I can't really demonstrate that for you because even under boiling water, I couldn't manage to move mine and I really didn't want to snap it. He's also got waist articulation in between his utility belts. It's nicely hidden, not very obtrusive, and it can rotate 360. He has the same basic groin articulation as the previous two Batman action figures. The legs can't go out very far, so that's not a plus. However, they can also go forward and backwards, but again, that range of motion is going to be limited by his utility belt. Both of his legs are also articulated at the top of the thigh, and both of his knees are double jointed, which is always a plus. This Batman also has articulation at the top of the boot, and he also has ankle articulation by way of a ball hinge. So yeah, now that we've looked at this Batman's articulation, let's bring in another Batman and stand him right here and do a comparison. Now the only other Batman that I'm going to bring in to compare this one to is the first release of the Greg Capullo Designer Series Batman, the one that doesn't have anything special to go with it, it's just the regular New 52 design. Now these Batman figures are both completely different from one another. You can tell that they're both based off the same artist's work, however, there's pretty much nothing the same about them. When we look at every single sculpted piece on the Backpacker Survival Suit Batman, there is absolutely nothing that is the same. The chest, the head, the lower half of the body, even the knee pads, the boots. This Batman shares zero parts with the Batman on the left. As a side note, even though he doesn't share any parts with this Batman figure, I do believe he does with the other designer series Batman figure based on Greg Capullo's artwork, be it with the boots and the gloves and maybe the utility belt. I don't have one in front of me right now, so it's like, it's really difficult to, I have to look at the pictures later online and then put the picture right here. It's gone, isn't it? Yeah, the picture's gone. I'm still talking, sorry. But there's no two ways about it. This is certainly a very cool looking Batman figure, and I'm super stoked to have him as part of my collection now. It's one that I wasn't sure I was going to get in the past, but then I pulled the trigger on it, and I'm so happy I did. He's probably one of my favorite Batman figures already, just because he stands out so much. Giving this Batman a rating out of 10, I would probably have to give him an 8.5. I do have to dock marks for the fact that at points the paint can be just a little bit sloppy and also the articulation is a little bit limiting. That groin problem with the Signature Series seems to be prevalent in at least half of the figures. But with that, I think I've said pretty much everything I have to say about this figure, so I'm going to bring the video to a close right here. If you found this video useful, enjoyable, or a reasonable waste of time, please take the time to hit the like button so that I know that I'm doing something right. And also, if you have this figure yourself, or maybe you don't have it and you held off on buying it because you didn't like the look of it until you saw this video, let me know down in the comments section below. And finally, if you think you'd like to become a super friend and join the DC Squad, just hit the subscribe button. Remember to ding the notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you with the next one. Have an awesome day super friends. Take care.